I don't know if any of you care or have interest in this sort of thing, but after two years I have finally completed the story mode of Fortnite Saves Worlds. Apparently the game hasn't been finished and Epic Games decided to cut it off at Candy Valley, but it was still an overall great game if they couldn't finish that. The end did feel kind of fast and the story didn't really seem to pick up and get actually interesting where I wanted to carefully listen to the dialogue until near the end of Candy Valley's storyline. So right now, if I edit this video correctly, you should be watching my run in the Storm King. And I guess I can't really say that this was my run since there were other players that completely carried it and this particular mission was part of the story quest. Here's just the rewards I got from the last mission I did, which was called Stand and Fight, where I just had to collect a seal wall demo tape. Simple as that. If you look at the mission lineup at Candy Valley, you'll know that there's still Storm Shield and Blast Off mission after that mission, but I kind of got bored of the Candy Valley storyline at the point I was at, so I did Candy Valley Storm Shield 6, which is the last one of the storyline. And then uh, that led way to open up the map to get the blast off mission, which led me to Twine Peaks. So if you do the blast off missions early, you can just get to the next zone. I would not recommend doing that though, if you want to keep the storyline. I kind of felt wrong doing that, but I was not expecting that to work to get to Twine Peaks. So yeah, that's that. And for your exit, here's the credits. I guess, I think they're the credits, they just show names of characters that were in the game. And that is the end of the Fortnite Save the World campaign story. One, two, three, four.